Six. So what's your plan for this summer? Hmm? Are you planning to go to the beach? Maybe you want to do a little camping, uh, fire rigging up that grill? Well, no matter what you choose to do, there are safety tips that you should follow. Uh, but always don't forget to have some fun. But to make sure you have a safe and fun summer, we have Dr. Janice Coffin with AU Health and Dr. Sonali Ponsky. One day I'm going to get all these right uh, this morning here together uh, to give us some tips. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for joining us here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, so we know that ER visits, uh, they peak during the summer. Uh, what are some five tips that children and parents can follow for this? Yeah, so no, that's that's a great question. So uh, obviously ER visits do peak during the summertime and it's really because there's a lot of injuries out there. So first thing, obviously they told us it's gonna be in the 90s this week. So make sure that when you go out in the sun that you're wearing SPF 30 or better to prevent sunburns because people can get third degree sunburns and end up in the emergency room. Um, so if you're outside and you're in the direct sun, wear sun protection factor, wide brimmed hat, loose clothing, if you can get into the shade um, along with sunburns go dehydration so if you're outside I know that we want to go to the cookouts but drinking uh, coca-cola tea or alcoholic beverages that only increases your risk for dehydration so if you're outside you know you must drink a glass of water or some kind of rehydration substance about every 30 minutes if you're outside in the direct sun again avoidance of sunburns wearing that SPF 30 again there's a lot of outdoor injuries a lot of people are going to the swimming pool and that's that's a great place to be. But parents, if your children do not know how to swim, little floaties on the arms do not count. They have to wear a life vest. Um, again, injuries can happen at the swimming pool, can ap how, uh, happen out at the playground. So make sure that you have a kit. You know, have some band-aids, have some gauzes. So if someone cuts themselves, you can control the bleeding. Um, carry some, you know, triple antibiotic ointment in case they step on something. So things that you just want to keep in mind. The other thing is Cliff mentioned barbecues you know we all want to go to the barbecues and eat outside and that's a great way to have fun the only thing is if there's anything that's made with dairy products mayonnaise it's sitting out in the sun greater than an hour your uh, increased risk of getting food poisoning goes up so again those things made with dairy products either keep them refrigerated until right before you eat if it's sitting out greater than 60 to 90 minutes you want to uh, try to avoid those things that have dairy products in them that's a good reminder. Yep, yeah, because sometimes we leave things and we get hungry and we come back and it still looks good, right? I, I always see the flies. You see everybody <laughs> doing this yeah. the entire time. Make sure your stuff's covered. That's right. That's right. Uh, for everyone, especially our viewers that may have chronic medications, uh, what are some good tips to stay safe during the summer with those? Sure. So there's a few things for folks to remember if they're on chronic medications. First and foremost, it's very hot outside mm -hmm. and you want to make sure you're staying hydrated, especially if you're on what's called a diuretic or a water pill. You may be more prone to dehydration, so you want to make sure you're carrying water with you, making sure you're staying hydrated during the day. Also, you want to make sure you're eating enough. If you have diabetes, you want to make sure you check your blood sugars beforehand, make sure you have snacks on hand. Also, if you're somebody who has a skin condition or has skin sensitivity from certain medications like Accutane, you want to make sure that when you go out, you're taking precautions against the sunlight. So this includes a few things like wearing a wide brimmed hat to minimize that exposure, uh, wearing long sleeves. You can also use SPF 30 or higher sunscreen like Dr. Coffin mentioned. Um, and minimizing uh, the time of day that you're outside. So you want to avoid that peak sunlight between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. generally during the summer. Uh, here, question I've, I've always wondered here. People drink, uh, they'll drink the, the sport drinks, yes. the electrolytes, if it's a Gatorade, yes. if it's a Powerade or whatever, uh, which is a liquid and a lot of people drink that, but is that, is that, that's not a replacement for water, just plain old water if you're going out and being out, correct? So, so I will say this, it does have a lot of, um, a lot of those substances like Gatorade, Powerade, although very good because they can replace electrolytes, they do have a lot of sugar in them. So they can count, cons, uh, they can count as water. The problem is, I tell people again, if they have diabetes, if they have underlying medical conditions, what you want to do is if you're drinking Powerade, uh, uh, pour it uh, in a glass, have half, and put the other half water. So that, again, that just reduces the amount of calories, the amount of sugar that you're getting. It does count as a replacement like water, but just be aware that it does have a lot of calories and a lot of sugar in it, especially for those that may have underlying diabetes. All right. But Cut great it. question, Cliff. Cut it down, okay. Okay, good to remember, especially when you're heading out. A lot of people are. It's in the 90s, and you yes. want to be outside by the pool. Thanks so much. Thank you so much Appreciate for having it. us.
All right, still ahead, we're going to share a conversation about health and how to reclaim your health through the power of real food. We'll explain after the break. Well, real quick, we're going to be checking in again with Lisa McCullen to see what's going on here in our area.